Hey everyone, Kaiser. Welcome back to the Wrestling Update. It's time to get a prize that I've worked so hard to get, that I 100% earn, I do. It's time to get a golden statue. <laughs> These SCW guys are ruining our town. We need trained professionals to bring them in line. Uh, isn't that your job? But they're big and sweaty, and I'm big, but I never break a sweat. I disagree completely. They're small and tiny. They're cruiserweights. I kind of made that joke before in the last video, that a lot of the wrestlers nowadays that are coming up, they're smaller, and they do a lot of fancy flips and stuff, and the whole big man in wrestling doesn't really... It's not really much of a thing anymore. Alright, so this is going to be the Glorious Godfrey statue. I was telling you, I think I deserve it. Can I put it inside the ring? No, I can't. Wouldn't it look awesome like right there? Actually, I do have a lot of other statues as well, including a Mr. Burns Golden statue, but I don't know where it is. Here are some of them. We've got two Jebediah Springfield statues, Abraham Lincoln, I don't know what the heck that is. Scientist guy, rocket scientist with a cat in the hat. Hat. A couple more here as well. Another Jebediah Springfield statue and then Homer. I know I've got a golden Mr. Burns statue. I have no idea where it is. Maybe it's by his house. Well, that's definitely not Mr. Burns. It's part of him. It's Waylon Smithers. Well, there's a statue there, Mr. Burns, but that's not the right one. You know what? Let's stick this over here, just for fun, I guess. My fellow Springfieldians, these are the dastardly deeds of Aristotle Amadopoulos. And it wrestles all work for Amadopoulos. We need our mayors to confront these terrors with some kind of civic resolution. Uh, my resolution is for me to step aside and declare mob rule. Go get him, citizens. Well, I'm okay with that. Golden Godfrey statue. Actually goes pretty well there. I didn't mean to tap you, Mr. Submarine. What do you do when I... See you later. It brings up something. I can't remember what it is. Maybe squid port tiles? The statue, though, looks like it does have a permanent sparkle, unless that's the golden pile behind it shining off of it. I doubt it's going to do anything when you tap it, but you never know. We'll see. That was something. Was that the Godfrey statue or was that the pile? Let's check the pile. It was definitely not the pile. But I just want to check something really quickly as well, because when I was thinking of golden, I've also got golden houses. Oh, well, there's a golden house. Maybe that's where the Mr. Burns one is. It's not. This is Chester J. Lamprick's house with Mr. Burns' money pool and a solid gold train. His rocket car is somewhere here. I don't know where it is, though. It's right there. Hello, how's it going? He owns property with... Krusty! And who is this? Quit me. And who is this? D'Amico Summer Home. So next up is going to be Honest Abe, which is going to wrap up the second act and actually will basically put us at the halfway point. 150 folding chairs, that's not too many, which is great. And five spring fielders threaten Amadopoulos. Uh, oh, the biggest thing personally if I want to add more to my town 
is I have to group everything together first. So if I want to have certain areas and stuff that I want to make, you got to go through all the stuff that you have scattered out everywhere and in the inventory. It's a, it's a pretty big job because if I miss up on some things, it's going to be kind of hard to kind of cram it back in that area. That's a massive chore that I just, I just, I want to do because I'm tired of being so messy. But I will, I'll get it down eventually. I must, right? So I'll see you very shortly to wrap up the Act 2 in the wrestling updates. So thank you everyone so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye everybody.